Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Mavoda and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. We are going to be trying some FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Yes, uh, Expert Mode is a game mode option. Um, it's like a game command. It makes crafting recipes much harder. It, it just makes the game much more challenging. Um, so in that it actually forces you to maybe use a couple of mods you're not exactly familiar with, so that's always really cool. Um, we got our biomes aplenty. Uh, let's pick a seed. Um, this is expert mode, so I'm pretty pro. <laughs> I'm so pro, yo, don't you know. Exclamation point. Seven exclamation points. Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, all right, let's get into it and see what happens here. I've been wanting to do a series like this for a while. For those of you guys who do follow along my channel, you know I've been doing a lot of roleplay stuff recently. Uh, we have the Star Wars series, and then we have the H1Z1 Unforgotten series, and those take a long time to make. Like, a really long time. For example, uh, not the last Star Wars, but our season premiere, the one before that, that was like three nights of recording and then three nights of editing. That was like six days to make that video. So, they can't all be like that or I'll never upload anything. I'll only be uploading like once a week. So, um, this is... Oh, I'm in the water. Good start. This is a, this is a good sign. I'm a little laggy here in the beginning. Am I gonna drown? Oh no, we're good. Okay. Really? On a stupid little island. This is where you put me. This is ridiculous. Okay, uh, we got some more land over there, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, so those videos, they take a very long time to edit, so I just wanted something that is a little easier, a little less time consuming, but is also still fun. Uh, so I decided to go with one of these, uh, mod packs. I was actually gonna be playing this, um, with a friend of mine, uh, this guy Clint. He was, he used to be on the Vortex server, actually, the SMP server I used to play back in the day. Um, but I was having trouble getting on his server. He tried it a bunch, so I decided to just do my own single player instead. I was kind of hyped up about the pack, so. Um, do we stay with this seed? You know what, we might as well. Let's just keep rocking with it for better or for worse. We'll just get ourselves set up a little bit here, you know, like normal. Punch some trees like you always do in Minecraft. Okay. Oh, we got some sugar cane over there as well. I will snag that for sure. Um, I'm just gonna get a good amount of wood first. Um, so one of the things off the bat that's a little bit more challenging with the with the expert mode that I have not engaged yet. Oops. Um, I think it's that. It should be good. Just get a little message in a second. Yeah, it's working, I think. Hence the lag. Alright, there we go. Okay. So now we are in expert mode. Let's continue to gather a little more wood. I can't believe we're just on a stinking island. I'm gonna make a boat and head out of here after we gather a little bit of materials. I just gotta figure out which direction I would like to hang, uh, head in. Maybe we'll head, like, east or something. Okay, that's a good enough start with the wood. Um, so you will notice a log only gives you two planks. And two planks only gives you two sticks. So off the bat, even on these simpler beginning crafting recipes, things are a little more challenging. Uh, let's throw that down. Um, we'll get a wooden pick. And um, also something else we will learn. I just happen to know already. Uh, we can't make anything beyond stone tools without Tinker's Construct. Uh, we can't just, like, make an iron pickaxe, for example. Ain't gonna happen. We just ha we have to uh, get Tinker's going before we can do any of that. So stone is the best we can do for now. So just another way we make things a little more challenging here in the beginning. Um, speaking of stone, let's get a little bit. 
I'm just gonna get a bit just to make a couple of tools. And there's also, also only about five durability on this pick, so I think we can get six stone. Beautiful. All right, let's make a couple more sticks. We'll get that going, and you know what? We might as well get our boat going because we need to go find a new place to live before it gets too dark. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of the other things from around the island that I want, like this sugar cane. Uh, do I want any of these flowers? We will be getting into Batania, just not yet. So uh, let's leave them for now. They'll be, they'll be easy enough to find. And um, yeah, I guess I'm going to throw a boat in the water and head east. That This way is east, so... Uh, Oh, I'll take you, and you, and you. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna travel east a bit. We'll see if we find something interesting. And we have found what appears to be land. I don't think it's another island. I think it's actually land. Let's just check it out a little bit, see if we can find anything cool over here. And then I need to start getting myself a bit of food and uh, need to start to find a place to live. Another island? Are you serious? Why does this game hate me? I'll take that berry though. Oh lag, look at that. Okay, still generating some new new chunks here. Um, might as well murder a couple things for food since we'll probably never be back at this island ever again. And you, sir, I want your hat. Give me all the things. Anything else to kill? I heard you. How did I just miss him? I just like, walked right by him. Okay, um, well, I suppose... Yeah, we got the wood for it. We will be throwing down another boat and continuing to head east. So let's get that going, and I will once again be back with you guys. Alright, coming up on another little area here. Um, it looks like, I wonder if it's underwater. So we've got some sky stone and stuff around there. Really? Uh, okay, it's another island. I thought it was, I thought it was solid, solid land. The game keeps fooling us, so we're gonna go around, and we are going to once again keep at trap. Maybe east wasn't the way to go. Starting to think that east was a bad direction. It's, just all, it's like a water world over here. Um, I'm gonna keep traveling, hopefully find some more solid land, and I will be right back. Alright, this is looking a little more promising. Like it might pan out to be some solid land. Maybe the ocean is over. Let's. No? You don't wanna break? It's fine. Okay, break when I get out of it. Alright, that's cool. Uh, let's keep moving. Is that just a tree that's not loading in yet? Yeah, it looks like it. We're just having rendering problems. It's okay, bud. You can show your face. Unless it's just a glitch tree that's just like that. We're not gonna concern ourselves with it right now. What we are gonna concern ourselves with is how hungry we are. So, I'm gonna eat a couple of these apples even though I don't really want to yet. Um, I'd rather turn them into juice because that'll pan out to be a little bit better for our hunger. Stretch the apples out, make them last a little longer. Um, but I guess I'm gonna travel, maybe try to c collect a couple of things along the way. Is this more water? Are we on another island? Okay, wait, there's a desert over there, that's good. Because we're going to need some cactus eventually. Um, I need some place to live. Or to think of living. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to find some place that I want to settle down. And then I will be back. This is the last time. Actually, no. This is not going to be the last time we could. But, um, but yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, we are back. And we have found what I believe is going to be our new home. I know I do want to live in some sort of hilled area. So I think we're going to take over this little hill right here. And that one as well. Oh, God. Okay, now we're running. I am starving as well. Please get in there before the zombie gets here. 
we good okay um so let me dig out a little bit of a hidey hole i'm gonna start to get set up a little bit we need to gather some stone here and uh yeah i'll be right back with you okay we're back got a little bit of a room dug out here still almost starving so i do want to get going with a couple of things so like a normal minecraft you know you want to get yourself a furnace but oh, actually that does work a slab furnace i didn't think that worked interesting i guess i forgot to change that part of the recipe well we're not going to do that we're going to still do it the more challenging way um to get um a regular furnace you actually need compressed cobble instead of regular cobble uh so we need nine times as much cobble for a compressed furnace uh so let's get at least a piece of coal or two going um also to kind of make things last a little bit better here with our food as you see our food's getting pretty bad i do want to uh make a juicer which is going to take a little bit of a uh, smooth stone is there anything still out here i think there is uh let's just keep this closed for a second gonna have to go out there and collect a good amount of wood pretty soon let's just finish up that and then we need three pieces of smooth stone um and actually let's just take one of these i want to get some torches going so there we go at least four torches something it's something uh let's wait for that i guess while we're doing that we'll make some more sticks so that i can get some axes i'm gonna have to go collect a lot of wood right now uh, let's make two uh so the stone tools have about 64 it says 63 but 64 durability on them which isn't bad it's not great um, so let's make a juicer so I think it is like this indeed it is and that'll allow uh, apple juice does way better than just regular um, apples so yeah it gives us a couple of a couple of meat sticks there um, what else do we want to do let's just take our remaining wood we can only make I guess two of these take some drying racks and we'll take a little bit of the meat that we had and we'll start drying it out for some jerky um, I do not have enough wood for a chest okay let's get out there and we'll start planting some regular trees because we are gonna need all the wood we can get right now a lot of this early stuff um, takes wood and wood is only given us half as much output or I guess yeah half as much in the end because it only gives you half the amount of planks so we're gonna need a lot of it so let me get collecting and um, I will come back once I've gotten a, a good amount here at least enough to, to get into some more interesting things okay we are back I have cut down a lot I've pretty much used both of those axes and um, from those we're actually getting a lot of birch saplings it's kind of interesting it's jungle wood with birch leaves around it these these little trees things some are oak but some are birch so we're getting a lot of birch saplings so we got a bunch of birch trees planted around uh, let's get back inside real quick we will start to get going on some of the things that we're gonna need uh, let's start off with some chests so we need eight logs for a full double chest now interesting uh, where do we want to put this I guess for right now we'll go right here and I'm actually it doesn't really matter but it's just gonna drive me crazy so I'm just gonna turn this um, all right let's empty out our stuff and then take some of what we're gonna need take that actually let's um let's plop these down so we can get a pretty good food source going these berry bushes are op so once they start growing they um they they grow berries very quickly and um and those berries can be turned into juice with the juicer which 
it's a great food source in the beginning. All right, so what else do we want to do to get started? Well, we need to start thinking about a couple of things. Obviously, we want to go mining and stuff like that. Um, but let's look at some recipes real quick. So uh, one thing I do know about this pack, one of the things that they did make much more challenging is getting a bucket. A bucket normally is just made with three iron ingots, as you know, but for this pack, you need three iron plates. To get plates, you need to use two pieces of iron with a forge hammer. To get a forge hammer, you need some iron, but you need treated sticks. To get treated sticks, you need treated wood. Um, and to get treated wood, you need to combine wood planks with some creosote oil. Um, a bottle of creosote oil. And the only way to get that is with a coke oven. So. We need to get a coke oven going. It's actually a multi-block structure that we need to make. Um, but we need a whole bunch of clay for it and a whole bunch of sand. So I'm going to have to go out and collect that. And I think I'm also going to have to do a little bit of mining. At least enough to get us some iron. I think we need about 11 pieces to get started at least. To get a bucket. Which um, of course is going to allow us to do a lot more things once we get a bucket. Um, so I guess I'm going to do a little bit of mining. Once it turns day, I'm going to go out and uh, collect a little bit of clay and sand. And I will be back with you once I'm ready to do something. Okay, we're back. And I think we are ready to do a couple of things. I've been doing a bit of work. We've cleared out uh, what will be a staircase. It'll pretty much lead up here and then lead up in that direction. I think I'm going to keep a hallway going straight from here and uh, pretty much until it cuts out, uh, pops out of the side of the hill on the other side. And maybe do a room over there, some rooms off the side, but we have a room over here for, um, we're gonna put our coke oven here, and we're gonna start a tinker's construct set up right here. So, I think I've gathered most of the materials to get started with that stuff. Um, cooked up gather a whole bunch of clay, cooked up some into some bricks and a whole bunch of sand, so now we have the coke oven bricks, and um, also gathered about two stacks more of each of these, gravel, sand, and clay, to make grout for, uh, for the Tinker's Construct setup. So we're gonna do that, and let's get that going. Uh, we don't have much coal left, do we? No, we do not. Let's um, actually, before we do that, let's take about half that much of our wood <laughs> and um, turn it into some charcoal so we can cook, cook with that. Um, let's get this set up. So we need this. It's going to leave the middle one empty. I think I should have just enough. Nice, we're good. Okay, so actually we need a little more sand. Look at this, it's like a birch forest out here. Gonna have to cut down a bunch more of this wood soon. Uh, we only need three pieces of sand, let's just grab it from here. Okay, hey, missed one. There we go. Let's get back inside. How are my berries doing? Okay, they've started growing. Very nice. Um, so as you see, we can use the berries with the juicer, get some raspberry juice. Really good food source. Delicious. Okay, uh, what do we need to do? What I probably should do is let's make actually another furnace real quick just so we can speed things up a bit. Uh, we need the compressed cobble. Very good. Okay. Um, start with that. Need some sand. Because we need glass. We need a bottle for this. And uh, we're going to put some of our coal. And we're going to make a uh, coal coke. And from that we should get some... Some of that oil that I can't remember the name of right now. Is it one of these? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. 
one more piece of sand and we should be good to go this is on its way excellent let's get a bottle going and let's head up here this thing goes really slow so we really need to get it going soon all right there we go um, so let's put some coal in and just let it go so this will turn to coal coke and it'll give us a residual output of of that oil that we need for the treated wood planks and uh, this is gonna be going like that let's throw the other one in here I guess while these are going on well, while that's going out there I'm gonna chop some more wood for charcoal and I will be right back with you guys in a second okay and we're back I grabbed a little bit of wood and I'm turning it into charcoal but I then also realized that we can use our coal coke here that we are making as you see the burn time of regular coal is 1600 coal coke is twice the amount and we already have some of our oil so let's take some of that um, let's make some of this treated uh, treated wood planks so I think we can do it with jungle wood hope we can do it with jungle wood Yes, we can. Treated wood. Very nice. Uh, we are going to need some sticks from it. And actually, we're going to have to cook up some of our iron quick. Alright, I've collected about 32. I think we're going to need 11 for this. The rest we are going to save to throw into our smeltery. Because for those of you don't, who don't know... Uh, you can actually use the smeltery to double your ores. So that is a beautifully wonderful thing. <laughs> uh, let's actually just stop this for a second. And what were we going to do? Oh yeah, iron. Beautiful. Let's get the iron going. And something else I thought of that we can get going. We can start getting our tinker stuff. Going the, uh, the work tables and things like that. Uh, so let's take half of that. We'll make some sticks. Okay, so this should get us enough to get started. Some blank patterns. Very good. So we want one of these. Parts builder. Oh yeah, it gives us some books. Uh, let's just get a piece of wood. Uh, there we go. Um, stencil table. Uh, we also need a chest. So let's get one of those, and then we need a workbench. So that with a chest will give us the pattern chest, and a workbench. Oh, give me all four. Very good. Um, and one of those with a pattern chest will give us a tool station. Let's throw that wood in there. How are we doing on this stuff? Not too shabby. Let's throw these down quick. I do not have a pick. So prepared. Let's dump some junk. And let's get a pick real quick. Totally rhymed right there. Alright, there we go. Pick. Beautiful. Alright, so we want to throw these. I already put this down here. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Let's throw that back on the wall. Uh, stencil table. Then we want the pattern chest. And parts builder. And then tool station. Excellent. And we're actually going to have to knock this out real quickly. This will be the floor. And in fact, with the way I'm building this, I do not need these. Fill those in with cobble. Uh, let's, I guess, let the rest of this stuff cook. Oh, wait, no. We can get going on some things. Okay, so first thing, let's get the forge hammer. Nice. So we're going to get a bucket. This is going to be beautiful. Three iron plates. Give me a bucket. All right. All right, we don't want to go out there right now. Wanted to get some water, but we can wait. Let's just get the rest of this grout cooking, I suppose. And, um, okay, I got 24. 
We can build, start building some of our things. I need more sand for glass too. Okay. Uh, so, but we'll start building some of our other things. So we need that. It's going to be the controller. Uh, we need two of these smeltery drains, along with two of these. And the rest, I guess, we can turn into bricks for now. Yeah, definitely have to spend some time, wait a minute for this to cook, and I gotta get some more sand. Oh, one thing I can do. I keep, I keep on going to cut, and then realizing one more thing I can do. Let's do that. And let's make a bookshelf, so we can throw some of our books on uh, into it get a little book storage going uh, we'll take that and we'll take that excellent so we're gonna start setting this up here gotta wait for the rest to smelt so still have a lot of books to go uh, a lot of blocks to go uh, let's just set up our bookshelf real quick though it will be right here and yeah let's throw all our books in Two, three, four, five. Well, let's keep that one there. Let's put these in some sort of order. There we go. All right. So I guess I'm gonna get a little sand. I'm gonna let this uh, let this grout cook up a little bit, and then I will be right back with you guys. Okay, welcome back. And we have just about finished cooking the rest of our grout here. Turned some of it into um, bricks. Um, well, I guess these are both seared bricks. That's seared brick. That is seared bricks, plural. Um, but we've made some of that. Uh, one other thing we need to do is we need to make that and that. And we need um, a tank, too. All right. Okay, we'll get one more brick out of this. I think I'm gonna have to go collect more stuff for grout, but I'll do that before the next episode. Uh, we're just about to wrap this up, and then I think that'll be it for today. So, we place one more brick there. Um, let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more stuff. That's fine. Let's hold that there. Okay, so now it is technically a sealed, finished, um, who's a more watch it? Uh, Tinker's Construct setup. Uh, but I want to put those guys there. And let's put the faucets here. Tuck our, um, casting table and basin into these corners here. Awesome. Very nice. So all we need to do now is go out and collect some more stuff, build this up a little bit more, and um, then we need to go find some lava and we can start doubling some ores, we can start getting some fancy fancy tools and things. Uh, but I think that is going to be it for today. We have done a lot for the first episode. Definitely gotten a far away. We got our coke oven going and we've got our tinker's construct set up pretty much up and running. We just got to build it up now a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I'm already having lots of fun. I really miss doing mod packs like this. And um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Really helps out a lot. And if you guys have any suggestions of things I can do that'll make my life easier in this mod pack or things that I should try out, um, leave those in the comments and uh, let me know in general what you think of this series down in the comments. I am sort of looking forward to this as an opportunity to learn some mods that I don't really know that well so hopefully it'll be a learning experience for all of us um, anyway once again hope you guys enjoyed I will see you in the next episode